Hey there guys, my name is Marcus from e-commerce style and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use Gelato print on demand with your Shopify store. Now if you don't have yet Shopify store created you can use my link down below in the description. And now let me show you how you can actually use it. So the first thing that you want to do is to use Gelato in Shopify app store and find it right here. Good rating, good reviews here. Uh, now you would just click add an app. When you're going to add an app to your Shopify store, you just have to wait here and install app. Also, what I wanted to mention is that uh, if you're new here, I'm someone who is writing email newsletter about e-commerce, how we can increase conversion rate, how we can make more money with your Shopify store, etc. All of that. And uh, every week I'm sending the newsletter email so you can find a link for the email newsletter down below in the description. And now you have successfully connected to your store. How would you like to import and process orders? automatically recommended or manually so i'm going for automatically now i'm going to connect to your product or we can create a new product so i'm going to choose right now a new product for gelato and then we are going to continue so right now we just connected our store together with gelato i'm going to show you right now how it looks at the app in a shopify store So right here I go to apps and I have it right here and it will automatically put you to the Gelato app right here and then you can have integrations here. Now when I go and come to Gelato I can try us with simple order but we are going to do the product. So let's say we're going to go for men's clothing and let's say I'm going to go for t-shirts. And then a classic one or this one right here, heavyweight. Okay. And now when we have it, uh, what we can find here, I'm going to remove my camera. So let's just design it. So I'm going, I can add a layers here. I can uh, like have colors or just the white one. You see how it looks on back inner neck, outer neck, left sleeve, right sleeve. Of course, I'm not going to focus in this video on how you can like design how to make more money with Gelato. This is not a video for it. Oh, this is just a way to understand how everything works. So we can use some Shutterstock images here. And we can use like this image here or I'm going to choose a file from PC. So let me give me a second. Yeah, I'm going to. Put it right here. It's like, okay, I just want to show you how it works. So now I have it, the design right here. Then these are the files. Then do like the, get the images here that I can add. Or even the adding a text. Now is the way. And then I have shapes. Layouts that you can add to your design. And when you have it and when you will add it, they're like complete tutorials how to do that. Probably I will do it myself. I'm going to go for mockups. So right here, now is the way and you can have also these mockups. And I can just download it if I want to. I'm buying it like yearly or monthly basis. Then when you have it, this is the main product image. We'll go to details and my recommendation use chat open eye, rephrase the text. Oh, write like this, make chat open eye. And you want to rephrase me this text. And then uh, not everything is going to be rephrased, but you can make it like make it much to eye appealing 
and play around with the AI for the text for the description of your t-shirt right and then when we have it we can have and choose the metric measurement system and have like tags and collections when we go further we're gonna find the prices here and the prices here you see the retail price y2xl y3xl and then you see that product costs shipping costs and then this is the profitability now of course what you can do you can increase the price let's say it's going to be 15 15 19 19 and you see right here that the profitability is pretty good for one t-shirt now my recommendation for everybody that if you're gonna do something like this uh, like what I like to do is just focus on the specific segments so I'm going to share with you the example me and my friend uh, what he did he went and bought specific trees in Serbia we am, I'm from Slovakia so specific trees from serbia he bought like 2000 small trees that you just plant and put to the ground it's going to grow rapidly fast what we did then we went went to free or like a markets where we would sell those who were like weekend markets for gardeners and a lot of people were coming i made like 4k in a weekend 4k in revenue profit was like 2 3k and now oh, we got orders every single month for like two to three thousand as a passive income only because uh we just completely dominated seo now what you want to do and in my opinion what is a really great way is to focus on one specific segment so let's say that you would have taoism so let's say i'm going to make t-shirts products about taoism and designs and everything is going to be all about the philosophy of tao i mean you're not going to be millionaire because of it but what will happen is that uh, when you're going to start writing articles about Taoism, Taoism versus different selling like ebooks or even everything about Taoism, and you will see that you will be making one, two, three thousand dollars a month in no time. Only because people are starting to perceiving you, starting to start buying the t shirt, the max, Tao is the way, you know, it's like it's, it's, a good, it's a good idea, and you can find many of these ideas. So that's what I like to do. <laughs> and now, uh, when you're going to set profit margin 2 or profit 2, you can change it right here. And now let's say that your target is going to be United States, right? So you're going to see how much it costs to United States and then you can calculate the profitability for you. When you're going to have it, I'm going to have it set it up here. I'm going to publish, right? And now it's going to publish right now and uh it's publishing and right now i have like different products here from aliexpress this is just a demo store then also when you're going to be home you're going to have the place a sample order if you want to then you can have the product catalog of all the things like the mugs etc orders and also stores here that we can have like direct integrations and I already have Shopify. Then we're gonna have the templates, uh, branding, like the brand label. And you can activate the label that's like completely different tutorial. And that's pretty much it. Now, when we go to the store, and we see right here inventory not tracked, print material, this is the type. I can open it and I can see it right here how it looks like. Tao is the way. Right? And when I'm going to open it, I see everything here. Wender Gelato, collections. These are the variants and everything. So this is how pretty much it you can connect Gelato to Shopify and how we can use it and create a product that you're directly gonna have for your Shopify store then my recommendation i in down below in the description you're gonna have all the links for shopify apps that i definitely recommend to test out to try to use um only because there is like vitals for increasing the conversion marketing app 
also analyzing new products that you can sell all of that with the links down below in the description that could possibly help you on your journey only because i know that many people have like good products but they don't have you know when a person wants to leave like uh, getting their email etc so yeah thank you very much guys for watching hope you're gonna have a great day and this is how we can use gelato with shopify goodbye